Hello, hello, our student teachers. How are you? Let's come back in our class where we are continue to do some more exercises related to Kirchhoff's laws. And remember that in Kirchhoff's laws, where we can calculate a potential difference of different resistors, also we can calculate as well resistance, even current. So let's go ahead to see how we can do these questions related to Kirchhoff's laws of electrical circuits by starting on question number one uh, a circuit consists of a cell of 1.6 V in a series with resistance of 2 ohms connected to a resistor of resistance of 3 ohms in parallel with a resistor of resistance 6 ohms now determine the total current drawn from the cell and the potential difference across three ohms. Are you getting the question? Let me hope that, that it's fine. So now it means that we are given 1.6 V as electromotive force of a battery. Also we are given the resistance which is connecting the series with this EMF which is got to 2 ohms also we have uh, another resistance of 3 ohms which is connected in parallel with resistance of 6 ohms now determine the total current determine the total current drawn from the set the total current drawn from the set and the potential difference across these 3 ohms resistor now, uh, this is a diagram of uh, this is a diagram of showing showing us how is the case. It means that we have or we are given a diagram like this, uh, where we have we are given this is the electromotive force. Also, there is a resistor. A resistor of uh, 2 ohms. We have another resistor of 3 ohms connected in series with this one. Also, we have another resistor of 6 ohms connected in parallel with the circuit. Now, we are asked to find the current passing or the total current from this circuit. The total current means that it is the current from I1 plus I2, also current I1, also current I2. It means that the summation of all current from each resistor. Current from resistor number 3 ohms of 3 ohms on this resistor, also in this resistor. It's current we are asked to find. Then after also, we are asked to find the potential difference across this Three ohms. After getting the current passing through for these three ohms, also you can find the potential difference, uh, the, the the potential difference across this resistor. So, by using the second law of uh, Kirchhoff's second law, we can use what we call loops. We can have two loops here that can help us to. To solve our question, there is loop number one. This is the first loop, loop number one. Also, there is another loop, this one, loop number two. These are two loops we are going to use in order to find this ask the values in order to find the total currents passing across the, the circuit even the potential difference in the resistor number three fine let's see how we can use so now if you consider if you consider the loop consisting the cell number three also, then you consider a loop consisting the cell number six. This is the loop, external loop, which is rounding the whole circuit. 
whereas this is the loop from this circuit here. That is how we are going to see and how to focus on this one. Now, when you consider the loop of 3 ohm resistor, we have given that 1.6 is equal to this question. Then you get this question. When you consider the loop, the circuit of consisting this resistor of 6 ohms, we get this equation, this one. It means that you have two equations, this one, equation number one, and equation number two. Now, subtracting, subtracting the second equation from the first one, this one, second to the first one, we can get this equation. We can get the following equation. We can get this equation when we use our values. We can get this equation when we make subtraction from the two equations. Then we see how is the case. We shall have this question. Then I2 equals I1 equals to 2I2. If you continue also, we can get these values. If we make sub subtraction, we can get the answers as this. Where well, I can get I1, which is equal to this vary, also I2, which is equal to this vary, also the summation of uh, is obtained so that also the potential difference across this resistor of CD ohms can be obtained. I think so, it's so fine and it is very interesting to get uh, this solution. Okay, nice. Thank you so much. Let's meet next time. I hope you are so fine. Thank you.